Also tonight, people are in fear because of their faith. In fact, there have been two days of attacks on the Jewish community here in Southern California. And the question tonight is, will the ceasefire in the Middle East bring an end to what's happening here? After 11 days of almost nonstop rocket fire and death, Israel is agreeing to a deal in Gaza tonight. That truth comes after last-minute negotiations led by Egypt. More than 200 Palestinians and a dozen Israelis have been killed in the conflict so far. President Biden announced today the U.S. will provide humanitarian assistance to the region and says both sides deserve to live safely and securely. How are the developments in the Middle East registering in L.A. after two suspected hate crimes in just two days and now a police investigation? Let's find out. Robert Kavasik is live in the Fairfax District for us tonight with those condemning the violence and those worried that there is more to come. Robert? Chuck and Colleen, right here on La Brea, we have the LAPD set up right across from a synagogue with another one just up the street. We have spoken to victims and those people who live in this neighborhood, and they tell us, yes, they're encouraged by the police presence. They're encouraged by the words they heard today, but still skeptical a ceasefire is going to stop anything here. It comes on the heels of a report by Crosstown that finds hate crimes that were reported to the LAPD in the month of April last month reached an all-time high. Tonight, they enter the synagogue to pray behind a locked door. There's a hate crime going on. I mean, it didn't happen last week. It didn't happen three weeks ago. It happened now. Avraham Eisenbach blames the Middle East conflict for what witnesses call anti-Semitic attacks that spill down into the streets of L.A. this week. But he believes it's been coming. So there's a hate buildup. An Orthodox Jewish man who ran from a caravan of cars, some waving Palestinian flags, says that hate almost killed him. I really felt that my life was coming to an end. Hate is hate is hate. We need to combat it. This afternoon, city and religious leaders stood united. We cannot allow the importing of the Hamas war to our beloved city. Violence against Jewish bystanders on the streets of Los Angeles is not acceptable. Mounted police on synagogue patrol today. Children offering snacks and water to the officers and the private security guards. But what about tonight? Not to go out alone. Always be with a few people as a group, just in case, you know, they need to defend each other or need to call someone. The uncertainty a ceasefire will last in the Middle East and if it will even matter here in L.A. The Anti-Defamation League offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of those involved in the restaurant attack. But Chuck, keep this in mind. The LAPD announcing today they believe that attack and the other attack involving the cars chasing that man into a synagogue are both, in fact, related. We're live tonight in the Fairfax District. I'm Robert Kavasek.